It's new Fox News polls that are just out tonight with some really stunning uh, numbers and no doubt disappointing numbers for the president this evening. His approval rating has hit a record low at 38 percent. Now, just last month, he was at 42 percent on that measure. Uh, his approval on foreign policy, as we look at the background of everything that's been going on, even worse, that's at 33 percent approval on foreign policy. And when asked if the president is improving America's image, a whopping 59 percent say that on that measure, he, quote, mostly failed. John Bolton joins me now, former U.S. ambassador to the U.N. and a Fox News contributor. Ambassador, good to see you tonight. Glad to be with you. What's your reaction to those numbers this evening? Well, I think that uh, it's gratifying that the American people do see the president's failures in foreign policy. I, I wish they had seen it earlier, but better late than never. Let's take a look back at this quote uh, from the president in terms of how he hoped to fix America's standing in the world right after he was elected. Watch this. I would like to think that with my election and uh, the dis early decisions that we've made, uh, that you're starting to see uh, some restoration of America's standing in the world. That's what he had hoped. Uh, and clearly, based on these numbers, it does not appear uh, to be the case, Ambassador. Well, I think the president's view of America's role in the world is, is fundamentally uh, contrary to reality. Uh, I think when we protect our interest, when we defend our allies, uh, when we act consistently, people respect or in some cases fear us. When we act as though we're uninterested, when the president doesn't pay attention, when he's not willing to protect American interests and allies, then I think others take advantage of us. And I think the Obama view of the world is that America is part of the problem and that a weaker, declining, more inward-looking America actually contributes to international peace and security. I think that's well, like it, looking at the wrong end of a telescope, but I think that's his view. All right. Well, well, the, well the White House today would clearly say that they are on top of a lot of different uh, attempts to try to do the right thing in this situation. We heard from uh, Secretary of Defense Hagel today. He says that they are expanding the military cooperation right now with Poland and the Baltics, that they are uh, in expanding aviation training right now in Poland as a part of this cohesive plan to support our allies in that region. Well, those are fine steps. They should have been taken five years ago. I mean, people have approached this in the White House and, and in the, in the uh, commentariat as though there weren't a history. The fact is that in 2008, the Europeans made a, a very bad mistake in rejecting efforts to put both Ukraine and Georgia on a clear path to NATO membership. And we're paying for the Obama administration's failure in the five plus years since then to think through the possibility that the Russian invasion of Georgia in August of 2008 could be repeated in Ukraine, or that other states of the former Soviet Union, like the Baltics, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, would come under even greater pressure than they face already. Ambassador Bolton, thank you very much. Thank you. Also tonight, 